Okay, we're back after two weeks away. It feels like ages. I uh, hope you all had a good uh, Farcom Con. I had a great one. Um, I, that Agnes Dick uh, had a really, really good time in the Dunnage Legacy Iron Man, the return to. Uh, I'll put a deck list. I've given a little uh, diary and uh, analysis on that, but I'm really glad how that turned out. And that's kind of the whole point of uh, doing this series, um, hopefully to entertain uh, you guys, but also I want to improve my play, and I feel like I definitely did. Um, anyway, here we go. It's the main event. It is the hipster's choice, the boss, Skids O'Toole. And I've been looking forward to this one from the start. Uh, what's my experience of playing with Skids? Uh, well, my most, I suppose the most common endearing memory that sticks with me with Skids is when turning up to an event and people doing literally double takes where they ask who I'm playing and I say I'm playing with Skids O'Toole. Why is that? Well, because generally he's got a bit of a reputation for not being amazing, uh, which I think is... I, I didn't 100% hold with it at the time, but I think that's quite an outdated view now. Um, in the course, set, okay, he probably was the weakest of the five, um, but now I think he completely stands on, on his two feet, and it, I've just I've just had a complete riot playing him in the times. Um, I don't agree that on the on the land is poor. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, play after your turn begins until the end of the round. Non elite enemies cannot attack you. That's huge. Um, his Elder Sign ability is great and his ability is fantastic as well and it links perfectly with his Elder Sign. He's just, he's just great. He's just a great guy. He's got the, he's got the rogue access. Um, I think the mistake, uh, and I'm not the first person to say this, I think the mistake that people make is they try and treat him like a guardian when he's not. He's a rogue. Um, so what do I want to see with him? Uh, so the thing about Skids is uh, his enemy management uh, needs to be quick. He's either going to evade them and forget about them, or he's going to use little tricks to get rid of, rid of them. And one of the first decks that I ever published on um, Arkham DB was actually a counter-attack Skids deck. So it had two guard dogs and uh, two, what they called, survival knives. And uh, yeah, it was really, really strong deck actually. So uh, I'd love to see those. Um, yeah, willpower is a problem. Um, so take the initiative would be great. Um, anything to sort of cover, to, to sort that out. Uh, there could be some very, very comedy allies coming up. Um, I'd, <laughs> I'd like something decent, but something to make me laugh would also go down well. Uh, we need a weapon, something to deal with the Ghoul Priest because we can't just evade him. Um, let's see what we get. Let's, let's just get straight to it. All right, so good luck, Skids. Let's see what we've got. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Right. Uh, okay. I said I wanted a comedy, uh, a comedy ally. We have been delivered a comedy ally. We've got Henry Wang. Wow. Okay. Uh, you see, as a maths teacher, uh, I should be inspired by Henry Wang and and try and solve him. But I, yeah, he's just. No, I'm not even going to talk about Henry one. I mean, enough people have spoken about him. So let's let's look at the let's look at what we have got. Look at all those speech marks. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, so the cult vest pocket. I gave a lot of thought to that last time, um, and I think my conclusion was it needed another card to kind of make it work. Um, and I don't see any of those cards in my hand. So that's that's a bit of a shame. And that is my only weapon. Okay. We have a problem. <sighs> okay, flashlight. Yep, very useful. Crystallizer of dreams. Well, I, I, I've got a lot of events. I'll have to have a look at the suite and try and, and we'll see. We've got small favour. Uh, that's non elite, isn't it? But I could use it to get a plus two. Oh, goodness me. Backpack. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, skids. Come on, hold on. Bandolier, uh, completely useless uh, in this one. So Alice Luxley, is there any sort of combo going on here with Alice Luxley? I don't see it. <laughs> uh, Gregory Gry might be the big one here. So what does he do? You get nine resources when you initiate a test. Uh, you're kind of gambling on how much you're going to pass by. And if you pass by that amount, that amount of resources. OK, so some sort of clever use of that. Uh, yeah, Henry Wan. Oh, I mean, I might have a spare action, you never know. Burglary. 
So I'm not bad at investigating here. I investigate at a three and we've got the uh, attic, which is a one. So I could definitely be getting some resources. Um, so I'm not gonna be short for money, which means I'm not gonna be short for extra turns. It's just whether I can actually do anything with those extra turns. The dynamite blast. <sighs> okay, that might be interesting. And I, and I might be able to afford it as well. <coughs> smoking pipe well he's, he's more of a more of a cigarette guy according to his photo but let's see this is the one where we take a damage and heal a horror it could happen if i get brutalized by uh, too many rotting remains that could come in handy and i've got something worth fighting for which is the good one for uh, skids all right i love it um i'm out of here i will not be using uh, but it has got two agility let me handle this <laughs> oh look at that let me handle this you handle this one and you owe me one um yeah all a, a total suite of uh, pointless cards for what I'm doing, but there's you know there's a reasonable spread of icons there, um, grasping at straws. Decoy, see that's the one he probably doesn't need, and he's been given two of them. Oh, yeah, not what I would have absolutely picked. Okay, the dynamite blast. So this might have to rely on dynamite blast, and then using the cult vest pocket. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, emergency cash, very nice. Money talks. Um, okay, so this is where you can, so I'll, I'll have to reread this card. Uh, instead of the skill type indicated, uh, this is a resource test, of course, yeah. Yeah, you halve your number of resources and you use that. Okay, all right. Yeah, I guess that might even help me out with a combat check towards the end. Uh, on the lamb, I've got a feeling you're going to be used. Slip away, add your intellect to your skill value for the evasion. If you succeed by two or more, uh, then it doesn't ready in the upkeep phase. That's non-elite. That can't be used. Uh, that can't be used for the ghoul priest. Small favour. We've seen that plenty. That's a great card, but again, can't be used for the ghoul priest. Think on your feet. Okay, so here we go. That we might be able to get Lita. Is, is getting Lita going to be the method we use here? We can think of your feet out of the, um, what's it called? I've forgotten my own my own house. The hallway into the parlor, and then maybe take the initiative to get Lita. Uh, take the initiative to get Lita. Dynamite Blast. Uh, obviously it doesn't work with Lita, but I'll be in a different room. And then I've only got two, they've only got to do one successful attack. That might be it. <coughs> Cunning. Um, we have works on the amount of resources, so this is looking like a big money, big money deck. Uh, desperate search. If I'm in that situation where I'm trying to get Lita and, and I'm in desperate range, that's very good. And I don't mind getting in desperate range because I've got something worth fighting for as a bit of a a bit of a cushion. <laughs> Intrepid. Wow. Okay. Uh, again, I, I have included this card in the um, decks before, but I've never actually managed to get it into play. Uh, say your prayers, same deal, look at that. If I get hit hard by rotting remains, uh, then that might come in to help. And I've already mentioned, take the initiative. Okay, right, well look, I mean, we've done four out of four so far. This was always gonna be a challenge one. I think the deck is hard. Um, it's. I think we're gonna have to get Lita here. Yeah, we're gonna have to get Lita. But it's definitely doable. Look at that. 19 packs required. <laughs> that's good. I think that's the highest one I've had so far. Uh, bearing in mind a lot of these cards come from the core set. Right. Okay. Well, there we go. I'll give that some thought. Um, yeah. And I will catch you on the gameplay for the last one in the core set series. Uh, and after that, I'll let you know what I've decided to do going forward. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll see how he gets on. You got this, kids. Let's do it.